Hey Barbie. Hey Ken. What's up? You want to go for a ride? No, I'm okay. I'm an independent woman. I don't need a man in my life. Thank you though. Look at me. I'm hot. I'm blonde. And my name is Patrick Starr, your newest plus size Barbie in Malibu. Check it out. If you guys like my video, subscribe, damn it. I don't need a man, and neither do you. You're hot, just like me. I love you guys so much. Bye. Hey guys, it's Patrick Starr. Welcome back to my channel. So today I have a very... <laughs> hey guys, it's Patrick Starr. Welcome back to my channel. <laughs> I thought you were going to do it for real. Like, one more. Hey guys. <laughs> hey guys, it's Patrick Starr. Welcome back to my channel. So today I have a very special guest, Sydney. Hey guys. So today we did a very beautiful, fun, pink Halloween look for you guys. Everyone is doing something scary, something gory, something skeleton. So we thought we would bring something glamorous and fun that any girl or any boy can <laughs> wear for Halloween. This is so much fun. It's so glamorous. Who wouldn't want to be a Barbie? Definitely check Sydney's channel out. Subscribe to her. She's amazing. And yes, these are her real blue eyes. For those of you guys that want to see, here's a baby picture. Another <laughs> baby picture of her. I am like her mama. These are your real eyes, right? For those of you guys wondering. They are my real eyes. Yes. She is the nicest, most beautiful, talented girl ever. And we hope you guys enjoyed this collab. This was so much fun. Definitely check it out. And let's get right into the tutorial. Really quick before we start the tutorial, I want to mention who did the hair. You know, this is all my natural hair. I would like to thank Tony, his vintage touch. Come here. Do you love the hair? I love it. You look beautiful. Thank you. Now, what would you call this? I would call this Vintage Barbie Goes to Hollywood. Okay. I dig it. Check him out. His vintage touch. Tony, thank you so much for doing my hair. Yeah. If you guys want to see how we did this look, if you want to see him back on my channel, spam him on his Instagram and let a girl know. Happy Halloween, everyone. So first things first is these contacts. These are by Jezio in light gray. And for the bags, Barbie cannot have eye bags. So I am taking the Tatcha eye cream. This is amazing for sucking up the wrinkles. For the face, to suck up the foundation, I'm going to take this Too Faced Hangover Primer. This will allow my foundation to stick to my face like glue. Now for that smooth, perfecting, flawless finish, I'm gonna take my Dior Air Flash Foundation and spray a ton of it on because I wanna look plastic like Barbie. This is one of my favorite foundations. It's a little bit pricier, but a cheaper one alternative would be the Sephora um, spray foundation. You can find it by Sephora Collection. That's a really good one. Barbie has curves, so I thought I would add to the look by chewing on some cheeky. But now for the eyes, now that my eyes are wrinkle free for the most part, I'm going to take my Boink Concealer by Benefit. This is one of my favorites. I'm going to use this under the eye and then of course layer another favorite. I've been loving layering concealers, a cream with a liquid. So this one I opted for normal it's a little bit darker but I love the consistency so much I had to have it on my face so I'm gonna blend it out with the booty blender just twerk the booty blender on the face blend it out and then set everything and bake it to perfection at 350 for 5 to 10 minutes using the air spun foundation we're just gonna beat that face because you know Barbie is always looking slayed so I really went in on the powder because as you saw in the beginning, we shot on location and I wanted my makeup to last all day. 
All the shadows that I'll be using today are by Makeup Geek. I'm going to take this beautiful light lavender and use this as a transition color on my eye. Since Barbie is pink, I wanted to use the color purple, like the musical, the color purple, to complement the pink tones. I don't want to go for a pink eye, a pink lip, and a pink dress, and a pink bow. I wanted to use purple, so that's why I used these colors. I have been such a fan of using transition colors on the lid. So as you can see on the inner corner, I used a very light foil shadow. And on the middle of the eye, I'm using a little bit of a darker foiled shadow. And on the outside, you see, I am using the darkest of the foil shadows. And it creates this really pretty foiled gradient. So you know how we always mix mattes. Feel free to mix foiled shimmer shadows on the lid for a very pretty effect. And as you can see, I'm taking this dark purple from the Makeup Forever Artist Rouge palette and using this in the outer corner. This is the only shadow that I used that wasn't Makeup Geek, but for the most part, everything else was Makeup Geek except the dark outer corner. Uh, color. So Barbie always has some slayed fleek liner. This time I opted for a wing. It's Halloween. Have fun with it. If it's not for Halloween and you just like this look in general, go for a wing. You don't have to. If you want to get a Ken in your life, honey, that's why you have no boyfriend. You need a liner. Yes, I am using super glue. Just kidding. To, <laughs> I don't know if you guys noticed that, to um, glue my lashes on. And these are by Lily Lashes in the style Tease, because Barbie is such a tease. And surprisingly, I'm using one pair because they're just so flirty and wispy. Now to knock off all of the powder, I'm gonna take my Pro Finish Powder by Makeup Forever, my most favorite foundation powder. I'm using this also underneath the eyes to create a brightened effect. And I'm going to bronze my face using Hula Bronzer by Benefit Cosmetics. And I'm just going to sculpt my face because, you know, Barbie can be looking chubby. Um, but I am going to try my best to take my double chin away using this bronzer. And I'm using that to also to snatch my nose and make it super skinty. And... I'm using that with a fan brush. Also, to define the nose, I'm taking that lavender color from the beginning and snatching my eyeshadow up to my brow. That is a little drag trick. And also taking that same shade and using it underneath my lash line to create a big eye effect. As you can see, this eye is so pretty. It's so wearable. It's just a matter of just being confident and wearing what you want because you look beautiful. Everyone is beautiful. Try makeup. Again, makeup comes off at the end of the day, so do not be afraid. So, for the blush, I'm taking this beautiful lavender blush by Makeup Geek, and I'm just using this on the apples of the cheeks because I just feel Barbie's always smiling and always blush. So I went for a monochromatic look with the eyes and the cheeks. Now, to snatch the nose, I'm highlighting the tip of my nose using an exclamation point down the nose. And this liner is by Tarte. I believe this is called Totes by um, Tarte. It's a very creamy pigmented retractable pencil. They also have a, a matching liquid lipstick called Adorbs. Get it? Totes Adorbs. But for this look, I went for... I couldn't find Adorbs. So I went for a Clinique uh, liquid cream. This is one of their newest products. It's so pretty. It's so cute. And it's a very beautiful bubblegum magenta pink. It is so pretty, and I thought it complemented the purple super well, and I wanted to go for something very, very bright for Barbie, but sophisticated. Now, for Barbie, I wanted to add a little bit of a mole, just because I was going to be like a pinup version of a Barbie, and I'm going to take this on my tweezers, which are by Lily Lashes, and add one mole, and then to add another sexy appeal, I'm going to add another mole right on the top of my cheekbone. And last but not least, I'm going to snatch my brows using one of my favorites, Precisely Brow by Benefit. This is so awesome. It reminds me of the Brow Wiz also by Anastasia, but I'm just going to do some light hair strokes. I've been using um, light hair strokes instead of filling in my brow more dramatic, but 
this is what I've been doing and I used the shade number three because I was planning on becoming blonde but this completes the finish look throw in a wig a cute pink outfit my clothes are from pinup girl boutique thank you so much um check out sydney's video this was so much have fun with it have a safe halloween snatch your candy snatch yourself a cute boy this halloween eat them up and yeah i hope you all have fun i love you guys so much and i'll see you in my next video bye